And this is a magic to explain the salvation of Jesus Christ. In the world, generally people think three types of sinners. Small sinner and a medium sinner and a big sinner. But every time people compare each other, like this small sinner, look at this medium sinner and tell, I am not that much big sinner. And this medium sinner will look at the large sinner and say, I am not that much large sinner. What the Bible says is, all are sinners. And in the sight of God, there is no small, medium, large sinners. We can see this. The Bible truth is, is perfect. Now we can see all are equal. So that's what the Bible says. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In the sight of God, all have sinned. And all sins need to be forgiven by Jesus Christ. But again... When you look at individually, we can see again, small sinner, medium sinner, and large sinner. But in the sight of God, all are sinned. And Jesus Christ came into this world to save all sinners. In the beginning, God created man in his own image, because God created in his own image, they had a perfect relationship. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, their relationship was broken. Now we can see two threads. But in Old Testament, people wanted to reconcile with God and they offered sacrifices and they got reconciled with God through the blood of animals. But you can see the relationship was completely not restored. Even though two became one, but still you can see the not very clearly. So in the Old Testament, the relationship was not restored by the blood of animals. But the Bible says, Jesus Christ came to this world to restore the relationship between God and man. Now the blood of Jesus Christ can restore the relationship between God and man. Now, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, if we confess our sins, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So when Jesus shed the blood, now you can see the knot is removed. So now the relationship between God and man completely restored. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 9, 14 and 15 verses, For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes and ifers sprinkling the unclean, Sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered up himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. So the blood of Jesus Christ can restore your life, your relationship with God. This is the third magic to explain that God can deliver you from all bondages. Now you can tie my hands. Pull. Another knot. Another one. Another one. Now, you have binded my hands 
with more than three knots. Maybe it took about a minute for you to bind me. But if you put that red cloth which resembles the blood of Christ, the blood of Christ will deliver me from all bondages. It read, take this red cloth and put upon my hands. It took some time for them to bind me, but it doesn't take even a single minute for me to come out of the knots. So the Bible says, God can deliver you from all bondages. The Bible says in 1st John chapter 3 verse 8, for the Son of Man is manifested to destroy the works of the devil. So whatever the bondage you are in, still the blood of Jesus Christ can deliver you. So this paper resembles the man's life. And you can see this paper, it is an ordinary paper. You can see there is nothing in this paper. So this paper resembles the man's life and what happens in many people's life is their life is broken into pieces. because of many reasons, maybe some love affairs from the lust of money or the position, whatever you name it, their life completely broken and hopeless, completely destroyed because it was broken into pieces, some people's lives maybe into a million pieces but the Bible says God can restore a man's life now we can see this paper is completely restored. That's what the Bible assures. If a person comes to Christ, no matter what happened in his life, his life can be restored through Jesus Christ. Short testimony about how he encountered the love of God. I was born in the Hindu family. At the age of 40 years, I was possessed with evil spirits. Terrible evil spirits came into my heart and tortured me for six years. I went to the priest and told my problem. The priest told me it is a problem of karma. Your previous incarnation brought this problem to you. It has nothing to do because the karma will go in many next incarnation. I was so disappointed and I thought. I myself became a priest to a small temple. I used to cut my hand and shed the blood on the idol, pleading God for deliver me from the devils. But one day, one person told me that Christ shed the blood for me and through his blood only I can be delivered. When he told me the gospel, he used the particular word. I put up all my idols and I surrendered my life to Christ. 
My life was totally in You know, the demons came and testified. They could see the glory of God around me and they cannot do anything to me anymore. Yeah. The Lord saved my life. When I became a Christian, I was inspired by the Lord to fill my heart with the word of God. I started memorizing 91 song. The Lord blessed me and I memorized later hundred songs from out of 150 songs. Glory to God. I want to conclude my testimony. The Lord gave me mission to go out and preach the word. I was being evangelist. I said that's the evangelist. The Lord gave me twofold ministry. I want to encourage all believers to memorize the word of God so that the Holy Spirit will be burning every time in your life. The word of God and the Holy Spirit make you stronger and stronger. May God bless this testimony. Thank you very much. Thank you.